All right, now let's map out the key of C on the G string uh, with our mnemonics, okay? So we know this is the G already, okay? So after G, this is A. Now how are we going to remember this is A? Well, we know because of the uh, uh, chromatic scale that A is a whole step from G. Uh, also, what about the A chord, right? Most of you out there know this is the A chord. Right, so we can use that as a mnemonic. Okay, so what about B? How are we going to remember this is B? All right, well, this is where we tune the guitar or tune the uh, B string. Okay, all right, so when we think of B on the G string, we think tune the guitar. All right, now what about C? Well, we're going to tie C's location to B because we know that, okay, B is here because that's where we tune the guitar or tune the B string. All right. Uh, we're just going to connect C to B. All right. And uh, C is also on a dot. Okay. And, you know, again, these dots are there for a reason. So you want to use that uh, as an advantage to help you remember where these notes are. C is on a dot. Okay. Now, what about D? D is also on a dot here at the 7th fret. Uh, now, uh, one thing we could use to help us remember that uh, D is here at the 7th uh, fret is uh, there's 7 days in a week. All right, day, the word day begins with D. All right, 7 days. All right, D7. Just think of 7 days in a week. That's going to help us remember D7. All right, seventh, uh, D is here at the 7th fret. Okay, now what about uh, E? E here at the ninth fret. Well, E happens to be uh, on the last single dot, right, before we get to the double dots. So, you know, that's one thing we could use. Maybe another thing is, you know, E9. You know, what do we think of when we think of E9? Well, uh, my dad was in the military at one time, so I know that uh, E9 is a military ranking, okay? So, you know, that would help me remember, you know, E is at the ninth fret, E9. And again, if that doesn't work for you, you know, figure out something that does, okay? Then we have F is here at the 10th fret, okay? We're going to tie F's location to E. If we know this is E, right? F is just a half step away. Also, we know this is G, okay? And F is a whole step down from G. And we know that because of the construction of the chromatic scale and the intervals and everything, how everything is, is laid out. All right, so once we've mapped out our mnemonic devices in the key of C, now it's time to exercise that note recognition ability with the cycle of diatonic fourths in the key of C. All right, so we start here on C. All right, so uh, you might put your you know, timer on uh, or, you know, practice with the metronome, stop the video, and work on this, all right? So you're going to do C, F, B, E, A, D, G. Okay, and, you know, once you have it about that fast, that's good. Then, you know, move on to the order of flats, all right? So the order of flats is B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. The word bead with G at the end, okay? All flats. All right, so we're going to use our uh, knowledge of where the natural notes are to find the flats. Okay, so we've got B flat here at the third, third fret. Then we've got E flat, the eighth fret, uh, and then A flat, first fret. D flat is here at the sixth fret, and G flat here at the 11th fret. Okay, so now you want to uh, practice that, the order of flats. All right, so stop the video and work on that for a while. All right, now we're going to put everything together using the cycle of perfect fourths. Okay, all right, so that's going to go like this. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G. And notice that I'm calling out the notes as I'm playing it. Uh, I think you ought to do the same thing. When you actually hear what you're saying and you're thinking about what you're doing, 
you know, I, I feel like that has an impact. Uh, okay, uh, so now let's go on to the B string. 